Ford versus Ferrari is a story about how American ingenuity can revolutionize an industry, change the game for a lot of people, only when it comes to beating Italians. I kid about that, but honestly, this is a well put together movie. When you get a talented director like James Mangold like from Walk the Line and Logan, two of my favorite movies of all time, and you get him to do something that he's obviously very passionate about, and you get a stellar cinematographer, you get a stellar writer, and you get two of the most tremendous actors working in Hollywood today as your two male leads, you got a great winning script and property that is going to revolutionize the game. Maybe revolutionize is a bit of an overstatement, considering it's a pretty basic story about Ford trying to be Ferrari at the Le Mans race in what, I think it was 67? I can't remember which one it is, maybe it was 65 or 66. I don't know anything about cars. I don't keep up with cars. But I keep up with things that I am passionate about. And what I'm passionate about is movies. And I like movies about any genre. And even though I don't like cars, I like seeing people talk about things they're passionate about when it comes to film. And that is exactly what I got from this movie. Ford vs. Ferrari is the story of Carroll Shelby, who was this amazing racer and due to some complications, he could no longer race, so Ford hires him in order to beat Ferrari at the Le Mans race. That's the whole premise of the story, and we have an amazing character in Matt Damon, who for half the movie, he's just kind of chewing the scenery a little bit. And what I mean chewing, I mean is he's playing a version of himself that we've seen a million times, but he's doing it so it worked. And I was really impressed with what he did, even though it was pretty basic, but you can tell when you get a basic thing like that, you can get the right actor to make it work, and be believable, and that's exactly what Matt Damon did. But the main standout to me was, without a doubt, Christian Bale. Him as Ken Miles, as the driver who they hire, is it just goes really into his method acting here. And while I'm not a big fan of method acting in some terms, you can really see when somebody's committed to a role that it can work, and it did for him. He's a standout to me. If either of these two guys need to get an Oscar nom, I really hope it goes to Christian Bale. I've never been the biggest fan of him, but him in this role as Ken Miles, I was impressed with. He was incredible and phenomenal. And the actress that played his wife, I can't remember her name, Outlander, Outlander girl, perfectly done. I really think if you are a fan of racing, if you are a fan of Christian Bale or Matt Damon or any of that stuff, this is going to be a movie you want to check out. It is easily a Best Picture nomination all the way around. It's a great directed, it's great... The sound editing was something I really noticed too because when you come to racing you have to do the whole, what I don't know the name of the effect that you do, uh, the scientific effect, I know that it doesn't matter, but the scientific effect for when you hear sound from a distance coming closer, I don't know what the name of that is, but you have to do that the, the right way in a movie like this and it really did do that. So the sound mixing and the sound editing, I have to give big props to that team, you guys deserve a lot going on here. The cinematography was great. Any shot of the car, or the cars in any shot like that, that was shot so beautifully and it felt realistic, so I was really impressed with that. This is a masterpiece, I will say it, this is a masterpiece. Every department of filmmaking firing on all cylinders, and I have to give props to everybody involved on that account. This was easily one of my favorite movies of the year, it's one I could easily watch again. I don't like movies that are very long, this one was two and a half hours, but it flew by for me, so I was really happy with that. I think this could be a Best Picture winner, I really do. And I hope it does get something like that. And if it doesn't, hey, film subjective. So that's going to do it for me. I really recommend checking this movie out. And just have a good one with it, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.